Hi and welcome back to the Time Then channel. Over the past century, air travel has seen significant transformation, from the early days of flight and the golden age of travel to contemporary airlines. We go back in time to the 1930s to the 1950s with this photo gallery to show you what flying was like at that time. Although manned heavier than air flying has been practiced since the early 1900s, it took 20 years for it to become widely used. Following World War II, the aviation sector really began to expand, and numerous commercial airlines started to fly. Please kindly subscribe, like, and comment. Now, on with the video. In the 1950s, in Cincinnati, Ohio, a TWA captain and stewardess greeted passengers as they exited the aircraft. Around 1955, New York's East Side Airlines Terminal began providing transportation to every flight departing from the city's several airports on a 24-hour basis. At the East Side Airlines Terminal in New York, passengers are shown checking in their luggage around 1955. In about 1955, travelers at the East Side Airlines Terminal in New York checked their luggage. In 1955, travelers were registering at the East Side Airlines Terminal in New York. At New York's East Side Airlines Terminal, a bus in bus docks. In this photo from 1955, one side of the docks is open to let exhaust fumes escape. In the 1950s, a flight attendant for Pan American World Airways worked in the aircraft's galley while cooking meals for passengers. Unloading luggage from an airplane in the 1950s. nineteen fifties picture of luggage being unloaded from an aircraft. During a stewardess training school in nineteen fifty, a female instructor stands at a chalkboard and points to a diagram of an airplane while female students take notes at their desks. The 19th of January 1950, Claire Swan, a trainee air hostess, during a training flight in a replica BOAC plane. On December 23, 1946, Patricia Pally, an air hostess, tends to passengers in a Pan American Airplanes festive cabin as it flies over the Atlantic. Through the glass of a viewing gallery at an airport, a Douglas DC-3 airplane of Eastern Airlines the Great Silver Fleet can be seen in the early 1940s. In July 1945, a baby flies to New York. La Berg at Saint Saint Denis Stewardess, circa 1945.
In the 1940s, a man flight attendant walks in front of a small plane while holding hands with two female flight attendants. A sleeping compartment on a March 1937 Imperial Airways plane. August 1936, day cabin of a flying boat operated by Imperial Airways, most possibly of the short empire class. On November 19, 1936, the Imperial Airways aircraft silo was preparing lunch. In 1936, passengers on an Imperial Airways flight were seen playing cards and enjoying a drink in the cabin. Around 1935, waiter service was provided on board the Imperial Airways silo while it flew from London to Paris. Thank you for watching. If you liked the video, please kindly subscribe and see you on the next one.